cities use data every day. Everything from showing you when your next train will arrive to measuring the air quality in different neighborhoods. Typically, all this information is spread out across a ton of different agencies and companies in a bunch of different file formats and spreadsheets. But at Keyside, we have the chance to start from scratch and build a single unified digital platform that's transparent, open, and accessible for everyone working to make our cities better. But what exactly is a digital platform? I was involved in one of the first digital platforms for municipalities, and it's never been explainable, just so you know. <laughs> I guess the thing that's a little bit hard to understand about the platform itself is that you never really see it. In the same way that you don't, as a user of a, of a smartphone, I don't necessarily see all the underpinnings that, that are behind all of the apps. So it could be something as simple as transit schedules. You know, how many folks are down at Sugar Beach? Is there a chair available for people? It could be about how we're consuming our energy. So we'll be able to actually look at what's happening today to be able to better plan for tomorrow. But all of that would be done in a very sensitive way to ensure that people are at the heart of how our data collection policy is actually being provided. So this digital platform is basically a home for all sorts of useful information about our city. And that allows us to find new ways of making everyday life a little easier for people. Whether you're applying for a new business license, reporting a pothole, or even just connecting with your community. This is a slightly random example, but imagine I want to have a block party. You know, right now, that would take a lot of permitting, there'd be a lot of paperwork. Imagine I can do that kind of from my phone and say, OK, I want to do this. We can quickly survey everybody who lives around and get them to say sort of thumbs up, thumbs down. If we get enough thumbs up, kind of the permit is automatically issued and then mixed in with all of the rest of the, the infrastructure of the city to make sure that, that stuff happens correctly. But this digital platform isn't just about improving city services. It's also about empowering local startups, universities, and researchers to create solutions we haven't even thought of. Say I'm a developer it has a brilliant idea for a much better version of Google Maps. That developer would use the digital data that we know about the city, where the buildings are and where everything is, to build my amazing app without having to assemble all of that information from scratch every time. And so I'm able to sort of jumpstart my, my app and get to something really interesting and useful much, much, much faster than I would be able to otherwise. Our hope is that these kinds of open platforms will make our waterfront an incubator for new ideas, new technologies, and the homegrown innovators that will bring them to the world. We think this will become the place in the entire world for people who are excited about building technology that's gonna make cities better, that we think will bring more jobs, and in general will create economic opportunity in this place very specifically. One of the key differentiators with this project is that Waterfront Toronto is truly a partner and walking side by side with Sidewalk Labs along this journey to ensure that we're looking out for the public good and remaining the stewards of the waterfront. So to take this to the next level, we really need for the community to get involved, to have a seat at the table, and to help guide the vision that we're going to have moving forward.